what's going on what's happening guys bluetooth blades here um got an unboxing video for you guys and uh i'm sorry i haven't made videos which i say that all the time i just don't have time or i'm not feeling well or something i'm kind of getting up there in my ears so anyway i've been waiting for this to come in for quite a while and this is what we've got the ts prof knife sharpening system but what kind is it it is the cadet pro and i'm very excited to get into this and see what it's all about so here we go as soon as i get this fixed here now this thing it's not cheap but it is from what I've seen, it is the very best one that they have out there. They got one that's a lot more expensive than this. It's called the Huntsman or Hunter or something like that. It's a little bit more than what I need. So, not only do we have that, the Cadet Pro, but we also have little clamp adjusters sorry about the bump there and what this does and this is separate this does not come with this neither does that but this dude here is like a little angle finder and I'll show you how that works in a second these are clamps and what they do is they bring your clamps close together they got this little space right here that allows that the wheel to fit in there so they can come together and I'll show you how that works here in a second so let's go ahead and open it up try not to trip on the bipod here with this guy I just recently had this done by SOT2 Dave excuse the grimy fingerprints playing with it earlier watching knife videos and he did a regrind on it put that deep hollow grind on there and as you notice, this knife really didn't come with much of an apex, which is this little part right there where it's sharp at. The secondary primary bevel is this, and that's secondary bevel, and the edge is the apex. Anyway, so I'm not going to do a sharpening, but I am going to put this thing together, and it's a hot mess inside there because it's got styrofoam that is it just comes apart it's real cheaply made the styrofoam is the system's not styrofoam is though so let's open her on up and see what we got all right I'll do this from the side here I'll give you guys a better view Now, I don't know if this one has stones or not, but hopefully it did. I don't think I ordered it with stones, but it was kind of up there, so hopefully it has the stones in it. But if not, I've got my own stones. I have these stones. And as you can see, I've got the Atoma 140, 1, 2, 3, Venevs, Venev, Venevs. I've also got ceramic, Sigma Power Ceramic 1000. And then I got Strop, which is that's a, this is a, just a regular cow Strop. This is Kangaroo. And this one is, balsa wood and um, they came with these here or this here for marking your edge bevel and finding your apex or whatever so anyway that's those all right so now 
we can get into the dealio here. And see what we've got. Make sure I'm in frame. Yeah, not very good. But I'll try to fix that here. Get in here, pop that dude out. Bear with me, guys. Okay. And. Here we go. Okay. Everything's got to be difficult. I tried to film this earlier, but that gum sirens was going. Oh, it does have stones. That's awesome. Let's see if it ate through the back of my thing. Yeah. See this part right here during shipping will eat through it but oh my goodness and it's not really that bad a shape keep always keep those so it didn't eat through too much of it and that's good get that pro the instructions okay we got the stones yeah which i didn't think it would have stones but i'm glad it does that's just an extra bonus And um, whenever I do sharpen, I can't remember what the name of the place is. Country something or other, which had this. But we're going to get this out. And I'm going to brush it off. And I'm going to, if I have to, I'll vacuum. I've got my vacuum out here. <laughs> but I did it outside because it's, this thing is a hot mess. All right, got the clamps. One... I'm just going to go ahead and unbox all this stuff because this white stuff here messes with the uh, with my screen while I'm recording video process. Oh boy, that's heavy. All right. That's all that is there. And of course, my table's white too, so I don't guess that really matters. <laughs> all right. Put this guy back in there I always keep my I'm a box holder I'm a, I always keep all my boxes and stuff so let me put this back in here real quick sorry about it guys I can't do it like it wants to fight me okay yeah, you too buddy okay well that, that little plate is heavy get her cleaned out there not near as big as what i thought it would be but that's okay because this sucker here man i tell you what let's do it like this T.S. Prof, baby. Yeah, yeah. Get out of there. All right. So we got the stones. This guy here. It's got a little thumb wheel on the back. And what this guy here does is after you pop this up, snaps into place. You wheel that up, tighten it up a little bit, and that keeps this this tower here from moving back and forth any at all. Dang, it's already got the thing in it. Huh. Well, this is, a lot of you guys already know, but this is a stone compensator. And what that does is when you have a stone, which I'll get out here, before you start sharpening, unless you're just going to use um, that angle that's on the knife and just try to find that angle. What you do is you lift this up. And you tighten that dude back down. And then now you're compensated. So let's say you switch from this stone 
to something thicker like the veneer stone and you don't want to have to do all this stuff here then you just compensate it by loosening that up putting that in there like that tighten it back down and you don't have to adjust any angles or anything so that was kind of weird that that was already in there i hope this is a legit system it looks like it so all right so now this goes like this slides down on there Uh, check that out. Isn't that smooth? Isn't that smooth? That's very, very nice. Yeah, all right. You, whenever you find your angle, you just lock her down. She don't move. She won't move. She's getting solid. Okay. Get the clamps on. Go ahead and put these on first. And get these going here hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday I know I am okay compensator back in there get these this guy this guy out this out all right so to put this in just take this out don't lose it take this out Come on, long-winded sucker. And I knew that was going to happen. All right. Now, let's see. This goes down here like this. No. This goes in there. Tighten her down. Make sure that it's flat. I didn't get it flat. There we go. Get in there. No. Leveled up. There we go. That's more like it. That's more like it. All right, put this here. That goes on there, and it can either go this way and get out there with it, or this way, and then you can get the. Let me put this in real quick. In and, and then it goes over that that uh, thumb bolt there. You do the same thing with this one here. Sorry guys, I'm taking so long. But I'm trying to get this for you guys, just in case you guys ever want to get one, you can. And then you'll have a one that hopefully doesn't take too long to get it going. All right. Sorry, guys. All right, get in there. Can. Yeah, man. You can do it. There we go. Sorry. 
it's kind of hard to do standing to the side of it trying to look through the phone make sure I've got it okay it goes there it goes back down here go around the other side here all right one goes in there I'll slide up there like that and look at that all right now we get this guy here going and that back so it'll slip in all right tighten her down and this accepts different sizes you can move this up and down it's, it accepts different size stones and holder or I mean it'll do the Atoma like that it goes in here like this and you got other things here different ah what do we have in this bag here that is for this this one is for this little guy right there you move it up and down and then which I think is really cool what is all that oh it's got extra good extra little hardwares in there Get extra little set screws in case you lose them. Well, that's nice. Okay, I'm just trying to get this little O-ring here for now. I don't want to drag out all the rest of my stuff. And I don't want it to blow away. So I'll put that in my pocket. Okay. O-ring goes back here. Let's see, let me move you guys a little bit. Not the wrong one. Okay. Put the O-ring on first back here. And what this does is it keeps from coming out. And this little thumb guy right here, it goes after the O-ring. And you tighten her down, of course. And now you can sharpen. It does something. You unlock this guy. You don't want to work good because it's cold out here. But these here stay pretty much the same. So you just lock that dude down. Let me put this on here. And what this is, this fits under here like this snaps in there and we'll hold your stone up tighten that back down so you can do your your sharpening and then a phone call or whatever you get in there and put that there off to the side so okay Of course, you put your knife in here, like this. Can you see? See how the clamp comes open? And I got some capped on tape that I'm gonna wrap around these so don't scar my knife up. But basically, that's what you do. Throw it all over the place. Clamp your knife down. and go to town <laughs> and that's that that now how do you check you for your angle well this little guy right here little angle cube i don't know if you guys will be able to see it outside here
No. Nope. Oh, wrong one, stupid. There you go. And what you do is you uh, put it here. Or, I'm sorry, I lied. You put it here. Find your angle. Zero it out. What is going on? Oh, I got it on backwards. There we go. Okay. Got that backwards too. Let me turn that over. All right. Okay. You're on your blade. You zero it out. When it's zero, you pick it up. You set it right here. <laughs> Get that neat. And then now you can find your angle. You're not going to be able to see it because it's so bright out here. But there you go. You get your angle that you want. Lock her down. And you're off to the races. Then once you get this side done. Then turn it over. Wrestle it in there. Got a little lever right here. Flip that lever. Put your knife over, lever back down. Now you're off. Doing it again on the other side. So you want to make sure that your blade is level. Sorry guys. <laughs> I'm having a disaster. Okay. Got sirens going. Make sure your blade is level. Even with this. Or with your clamps. Mouth your clamps. Then that way you get it even. You know what I mean? Not very smooth. It seems like. I guess it's just because it's cold out here. So anyway guys that's it. for just a putting it together video. I'm gonna do a knife sharpening video. I'm sure it'll work a lot better inside. Things warm up on it, so, and I fine tune things, so. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much, and we'll see.